Bay, guys! Whoop, whoop. So if you are not aware of where Barron Bay is, it's always located in New South Wales region in Australia and it's just many hours north of Sydney. I think if you drive it's probably like 12 hours drive but we flew instead this morning very early. We got so lucky because the time changed. How do you say it? So yeah, we got an um, extra hour because they of turned sleep. the watch backwards. So that was good, considering the hour flight it was 7 in the morning. It's supposed to be the most chilled, hippie, relaxed place in Australia. I think I've already seen some people barefoot. <laughs> for you guys unfortunately but yeah we're just strolling checking shops I'm getting like few souvenirs hey I need to go to the pharmacy I need to go to the pharmacy because of this you see it guys we just arrived to our Airbnb oh my god it's I'm like so sweaty it's pretty hot today and I'm not feeling super good in these days so we decided to break a little bit the day and just spend a few hours here, relax a little bit and go out when it's less hot. So this is the room. Quite simple, but the best thing is this, our own patio here. So peaceful here. Like literally, it's like jungle, <laughs> not jungle, but how can you describe? How can you describe it? Forest. Forest. Sorry for this on and off video. Uh, I think by now you got to understand that our first day somewhere is always like a day a little bit where we are all over the place. I don't know if I filled you up with my situation. I've been a bit sick in the past days. Um, apart from this, Cold sore, I got to understand that it's cold. I feel every day that I need to take a nap in the afternoon and this is a thing that never happened before to me. And also I'm gonna show you something really anti-sexy, but I'm having like very irritated armpits. <laughs> I gotta be real here, come on, I gotta be real. Um, I don't know if the things are connected. So when I went to the pharmacy before I actually got like a multivitamin and something that I can take for a week like very intense maybe two per day and hopefully feel a bit better also today I got like a nice farmer tan oh my god look at this I just put some aloe vera yeah you know when you really feel that you look bleh. guys what the heck uh... Vincent? Vincent? Vince? Yeah. Look at this bird! What the heck? Oh, it's like a, some kind of um, a uh -huh. glass. Like, you know, the whiskey. Famous glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We checked out the beach, it looks very very nice, but we didn't want to spoil it to you guys because we go there tomorrow in the evening and during the day as well of course. So now we're just hunting for a place to eat, but we know that we don't want Thai, we don't want pizza, we don't want burger because we had them recently, so that makes it a bit tricky to pick.
Good morning everyone! It's day two on Byron Bay. We had a long nice sleep and we are now heading to town first having breakfast and then starting the walk to the lighthouse. So we are entering the reserve. That is the path to the reserve. Blue. Okay. Which is 3.7 kilometers. All right. Allowed two hours. Okay. So the loop, we arrived to the lighthouse. So the loop, we are here. Yeah. Where are we now? Here. Yes. So the loop goes here. That's nice. Then we can stop there in the beach. Yeah, and then. Because look, I want to stop to this guess beach. That's the lighthouse. All oh, right. And then mm -mm -mm -mm. back here. That's I, the loop. Basically. I want to stop in this beach. Hopefully, it's not too busy. Yeah. Around here, you see whales pretty much all year round. So hopefully, we can spot some. To not talk about dolphins, like you see them all the time. In fact, you can actually do dolphin kayak. So you hire a kayak, and uh, you see the dolphins. Yeah, they're apparently living here every day as well and they're breeding and all that kind of stuff yeah. so you, apparently you're guaranteed to see yeah. a dolphin if you come here <laughs> and if you decide to book a dolphin kayak what I can suggest is an operator that we were booking at work that we always got amazing reviews it's called Go See Kayak I'm gonna write it down here we actually didn't do it because I, it was my fault I felt like we have only two days and let's just take it chill like that but hopefully we can spot some dolphins from the beach, that would be nice. Captain Cook, who came here in 1770, was the first European to spot what's today Byron Bay, which is the, uh, yeah, out the Cape here where we are heading. And uh, he named it after the, his fellow naval officer yeah. called John Byron, who actually was the grandfather of the famous English poet Lord Byron. <laughs> Byron Bay? Yes. What time is it? It's half past four. Oh my goodness. And we started the walk that it was 12, but we stopped a lot in the way. So we are getting towards the end of the day, just enjoying a beer by the beach as the locals do. Yeah. <laughs> and I got like a Stonewood East brewed in Byron Bay. So 
This is the main Byron Beach and we walked all the way. You see that down there there is the lighthouse. Let me zoom. That's where we were before. And out at the edge. Yeah, we went all the way out to the edge, the beach around there. Anyway, I wanted just to give a closure a little bit to our Byron Bay experience because tomorrow we are getting on a plane towards Cannes. So we are going to spend a week in Port Douglas. So that's going to be more of a weekly vlog, I decided, instead of doing like a lot of vlogs that can be boring for you to watch. So I hope you enjoyed this little adventure of two days and see you in Port Douglas tomorrow. You're really excited about Port Douglas. Oh yes, that's going to be nice.